Hi everyone, in this video I would be talking about the important topics of the medicine for the upcoming NEET PG 2022. As it is the last month for the NEET PG 2022, it becomes very important to read only the high yielding stuff. So I would be sharing the important topics for the subject medicine that would definitely benefit in your upcoming exam. So let's start without any further delay. Let's start with the first unit that is CNS. In CNS you must be reading. Parkinson's special aids treatment, then Alzheimer's, headache, in stroke you must be reading its management and localization of lesion, then infarct, in myasthenia gravis again it's important to read the treatment expect, drugs used in epilepsy, well proate, carbamazepine, you should be aware in which epilepsy, in which type of scissors, what drug is used, which is the drug of choice, what are its indications, what are its side effects, next is lambert eaton syndrome. Huntington Chorea, Multiple Sclerosis, NMO, Next is EEG changes in different scissors, where you JMB would be getting an image space, EEG picture, e then you would be asking, uh, giving the clinical history, you have to make either the diagnosis, whether they are talking about absent scissors or the juvenile myoclonic epilepsy or they can ask you the drug of choice for this. Then different types of neuropathy and tauopathy versus synucleopathy. This was all about the CNS unit. Next, switch on to the respiratory unit. In respiratory unit, they can ask you about the asthma. You should be, uh, you know, reading the latest treatment guidelines for the asthma. Then COPD and COPD, you must be knowing the gold criteria, Berlin's criteria for ARDS, tropical pulmonary eosinophilia, interpretation of pulmonary function tests. You must be knowing obstructive versus restrictive, then DLCO. Acid base imbalance. It is very very important. You cannot they cannot make the paper without this topic. You must be knowing how to calculate, then practice the sum ABG you have to calculate and diagnose whether it is metabolic acidosis or alkalosis or respiratory or whether they have compensated or not. Then you must be knowing the treatment for them. TB pneumoconiosis in pneumoconiosis, they can ask you asbestosis, silicosis, coal worker, interstitial lung disease. Then they can ask COVID-19, sarcoidosis, in ARDS you must be knowing the criteria. then pulmonary embolism, radiological investigations, treatment and hypersensitivity pneumonitis and the last in the respiratory unit is pneumonia, you must be knowing CURP 65 score. So this was about respiratory. Next switch on to the renal, in renal they can ask you about the renal tubular acidosis, Barter, Gittleman, Liddle. Then criteria and biomarkers of acute kidney injury, nephrotic syndrome, glomerulonephritis, stages of CKD and management and the manifestations of CKD, SIADH, acute interstitial uh, nephritis. Let's move on to the cardiovascular system. In cardiovascular system, you should be knowing the ECG of MI, hyperkalemia, PSVT, AF, heart block, arrhythmia, ST elevated MI and non-ST elevated MI. You must be knowing the ECG of them by heart. Then in hyperkalemia and hypokalemia, they can ask you electrolyte imbalance of hypernatremia, hyponatremia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesia, hyperkalemia and hypokalemia. Their management and the ECG changes. Next other than the ECG, they can ask you the cardiomyopathy, pericarditis, MI management, shock, Dukes and Jones criteria, myocarditis, infective endocarditis. JVP, rheumatic heart disease and MRMS, ARS management and murmurs. This is about the cardiovascular system. Next move on to endocrine. In endocrine they can ask you the hyperthyroid and hypothyroid and the eye changes seen in the thyroid. Then men syndrome, calcium metabolism, Cushing syndrome, Modi, diabetic ketoacidosis, pituitary adenoma, Sheehan syndrome. Then parathyroid, they can ask you hyperparathyroidism, pseudoparathyroid, insulin, diabetes mellitus, acromegaly and fugromocytemia. You can expect these questions from the endo unit. Next is rheumat. In rheumat, they can ask you SLE, vasculitis, jogrin, rheumatoid arthritis, its management and clinical features very important. Then psoriatic arthritis, gout, pseudogout, ankylosing, systemic sclerosis, sicca and scleroderma. This is all about from the rheumat unit. The next is GIT. In GIT, they can ask you the viral and autoimmune hepatitis, its criteria, management, malabsorption syndromes, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's. 
then acute pancreatitis diarrhea in irritable bowel syndrome you must be knowing the rome criteria wilson's hemochromatosis psc short bowel syndrome and spontaneous bacterial peritonitis it is from the git unit next is miscellaneous in miscellaneous you must be knowing sarc uh, superior vena cava obstruction pyrexia of unknown origin acute phase reactant cord acquired syndrome community acquired pneumonia mixed edema central pontile myelinosis chuck strauss syndrome and hemophilia i have summarized all the important topics unit wise like recipe cvs cns you cannot read the complete medicine whether i provide you one month or two month you have to revise the medicine subject within two to three days then it's important to read only the high yielding stuff so that you can produce your maximum output in the exam so all the best for your upcoming exam these topics definitely going to help you out so read them thoroughly within the two to three days i would be uploading the rest subjects important topics back to back so that i can help you out in your upcoming neat pg 2022 i have already uploaded the surgery important topics you can check that out medicine i have uploaded and i would be uploading the one month strategy plan so don't miss any of the upcoming video all the best